my hearing aids in, so I sound really loud. Um, they limited me to just a little bit of time instead of half an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that tomorrow is my 68th birthday. And somebody told me the other day I don't look 68, and I said, what does 68 look like? You know? And so anyway, um, tomorrow, um, in my family, you got to do what you wanted to do on your birthday. And when I was 50, I swam 5,000 yards straight. And then I went to Ruby Tuesday and ate everything on the salad bar. Uh, when I was 49, I went to a nudist camp for my 49th birthday. And I will talk about that later in the year when I get more time. Um, and let's see. Oh, this year, Brandon, where are you? Right Brandon, right there, uh, works at Tombstone Firearms in Chino on Butterfield Road. And he is going to be my escort on Saturday morning. Where are we going? Out by Paulden. We're going to a Paulden gun range or shooting area. Yes. And I have a 11-year-old Apple iMac that cannot be refurbished and it's been in the back of my car saying recycle me and I said you gotta shoot you first then I can recycle you so Saturday at about 2 we're gonna go out and I'm gonna get my loaded 38 and he's gonna bring me something more powerful to shoot the hell out of it um, but the premise in all of that and being up here is to encourage people to use that sort of uh, anger management instead of going out and killing people with the same style gun. So this is being videotaped. I have a Flying Flamingo Refuge YouTube channel where nine videos are out there of me telling you what pisses me off. And today I was going to talk about what I'm grateful for. And I'm grateful that Sean drew the line on how long I can talk up here. So um, I'm going to go over some inspirational things that kept me going in the last 67 years. Okay. Um, this is, uh, my, this, uh, I always interrupt myself. Uh, in two weeks is the Prescott Studio Arts Tour. It's a self-guided tour of 56 studios throughout the Quad City area. And I am studio number 23 in uh, Chino Valley, and um, I have uh, abstract art in 3D. I have a five by, anyway, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, these are the brochures for it. I'm on page 13 and page 37. Also go to the website, and there's all sorts of, of things. So somebody put that on the table, please. You can see my hands are shaking again. My CBD is not kicked in yet. <laughs> it will kick in at 3 o'clock this morning, and my scissors when I'm quilting will not be a lethal weapon. Um, okay. A woman is like a bag of tea. You don't know how strong she is until you put her in hot water. So, Sean, I'm strong. Uh, how often do you make life harder than it needs to be. These are things that kept me going. The problem isn't the problem. The problem is your attitude towards the problem. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, success is not the absence of failure. It is the persistence through failure. One of my pet peeves is people that can't make a goddamn decision about something so goddamn simple. <laughs> Like, where are we going to dinner? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Okay. Um, and the other one, the last one is aspire to inspire before you expire. So that's the theme for tonight. Um, <laughs> so I'm inspiring before I expire. I don't have any plans on that. Okay. They, they limited me, so that means quilts. And everything. Um, one of the things I do on my birthday, and an idiosyncrasy, you guys know what an idiosyncrasy is? You didn't know what acquiescence was in July. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, idiosyncrasy is something you're always going to have in your personality, your mannerisms, or something like that. And whoever questions it, you just don't say, 
just don't say, just don't get defensive and go, well, did it, did it, just say, that's who I am. So every year on my birthday, before my birthday or on my birthday, I take my dress blues uniform from active duty in the air forward. And I had a shirt on and I was going to do a dun 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 as I took off the shirt with the tank top underneath. But this is my dress blues uniform from active duty. I was a captain. I did 23 years, and I finally gave up my commission in 89 because I couldn't sleep with anybody else to get promoted. <laughs> so I got enlisted, and then in 1999, they decommissioned me. And um, as a reservist, you have to wait until you're 60 to get your retirement. So I marched in place basically 13 years waiting to get my retirement. But let me tell you, I make so much money now, I don't know what to do with it. So I go out and buy fabric, make quilts, and give them away. Okay? Um, I need a Well, never mind. Okay, so here we go. Okay? I haven't tried this on in two years. I used to weigh 325 pounds. I used to be a 24W. This is a 20 tall from 1999. Um, I've um, I'm down to like a, my shoulders are always going to be a, a men's size 14 and a half, 33. My waist is always going to be a men's. I think men's clothes fit me better than women's clothes. So here we go. Okay. I, Sean, I'm going to need some help. <laughs> You're going to have to lift it over. Wait, wait, wait. I have a three X shoulder. Okay, what is that? Now I used to fit this thing. Whoa. That's cool. Now let's see if I can bring my arms together. <laughs> I'm getting there. Look, look. Um, in April, I had a breast reduction. I went from a 44 double B to a C, and it shot me back to 16 year old. Yeah, you know, lying on the beach in Southern California, going, "Look, our ribs are higher than our boobs." <laughs> so anyway, this is this feels really good. And I have the hat to go with it. <laughs> if my arms can reach my head. <laughs> it used to be much easier. <laughs> there. Woo! Oh, wrong service. Number five. Oh, wrong service. <laughs> Up, up, and away. Uh, something Birdman. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, anyway, thank you for celebrating the last few hours of my birthday with me in this. And um, oh, 50, 50 years ago, Woodstock. <laughs> when I was in officer training school, when I was in officer training school in '79, I hired a Marine to shine my boots for me and I ironed his, his uniforms for him, okay? So when I got to my first duty station, I didn't know how to shine boots. And I had to have another Marine <laughs> teach me how to shine boots. So I got what's called core fam, where they're already already shined. So, um, where was I? What was I saying? Oh, Woodstock, oh my God. Woodstock, 50 years ago, okay? I got a notice that I have a 50 year high school reunion. Oh shit, Kellogg. 50 years, 1969, best year, you know, 69 is fine. Um, anyway, 50 years ago was Woodstock. Well, I was in Southern California, so I went to Altamont. You know about Altamont, the western um, Woodstock in, uh, outside of Oakland? Yeah, I was there. And I had fun. I had a great time. I didn't need CBD pills, you know. <laughs> I was still tripping three days later, but don't tell the, don't tell the Air Force. Okay. No, I didn't smoke it. I ate it. Okay. Oh, the hat. Oh, well. I was at Altamont Speedway. Well, I was talking to somebody the other day, and we were talking about high school reunions. And I said, yeah, I got her. They combined 69, 70, 71, and 72. And you guys know why? Because 60% of the graduating classes were killed in Vietnam. 
okay? So um, I found out 35 later, years later that the Rolling Stones were playing in Altamont. I didn't even know that. Okay, that's my time, right? Oh yeah, I'm doing quilts. Okay, come, come get my hat. Garçon. Okay, where did you put them? Garçon means boy. Oh. Been a cop for for a whore. Been a cop for a whore in Georgia. To my boss at Kroger means get your ass over here now. Okay. Uh, quilt. Sean put 